Now that Konami has taken a branded fusion from us, more people will play the lock variant. So now we will discuss how to perform the gimmick puppet lock so you can weapon yourself against it. We start by normal summoning the Alubur and use its effect to fetch us a branded fusion. Next we'll activate branded fusion sending Albaz and gimmick puppet nightmare to the grave to summon Lebellion. On summon Lebellion's effect will trigger and by discarding one card from our hand we can shuffle back the Albaz and Lebellion to summon Mirror Jade. Then we'll use Mirror Jade's effect banishing a Lubber to send an Albion to the grave and proceed to our end phase. During the end phase Albion will trigger giving us the opportunity to set branded expulsion. Then we'll put the toggle to on and go to the opponent's turn where we'll activate expulsion as soon as possible. Tributing Mirror Jade giving the gimmick puppet to our opponent while summoning a Lubber to our field. A Lubber will even trigger, so we'll get to add some follow up for the next turn. But we can build a stronger board with a slightly different hand. This time around we'll normal summon Cartesia, and use branded opening to summon our glossy Alibur by discarding our plain Alibur. On summon Alibur will trigger, and will fetch us branded fusion. Then we'll use Cartesia's effect to summon Grangwignal by using itself and Alibur as material. On summon Grangwignal we'll send gimmick puppet Nightmare to the grave. Next we'll use branded fusion to summon Albion the Searing Dragon by sending Albaz and the Bistial Rebellion to the grave. When summoned we can use Albion's effect banishing Alubur and the gimmick puppet to go into Masquerade the Blazing Dragon or Despian Queritis. Then we'll use the Bistial Rebellion's graveyard effect to special summon itself by tributing Albion. On field we can then use its other effect placing a branded beast onto our field before going to the end phase. During the end phase Albion will trigger as we'd expect, so we'll set branded expulsion and remember to put the toggle to on. Similarly as before, as quickly as we can, during the opponent's turn we'll activate expulsion, now tributing the Grangwignal, to give the opponent the gimmick puppet and ourselves the Alibur. We summon both banished monsters, as by not doing so we are susceptible to any banish effect, as it will fizzle the effect. On its summon we again can use Alibur's effect to grab us some goodies for the next turn. Anyway, before going to the decklist, I would like to take the time to discuss some other lock options as I can only imagine Gimmick Puppet Nightmare will be banned at some point. Other great options are Ido the Supreme Magical Force, Jaujin the Spiritualist, Ra's Disciple, Archlord Christia, Destiny Hero Dark Angel or even Nightmare Corruptorably. But there is a reason to prefer Gimmick Puppet Nightmare as it is the only one with a lingering effect, albeit for just one turn. For all the others, when removed from the field, the opponent is no longer locked. The decklist is largely the same as the list presented on one of my previous videos. However, and obviously, we added Branded Expulsion and Gimmick Puppet Nightmare to it. Replaced one Branded Fusion with the Springans kit and made some small changes to the extra deck. Hope you've enjoyed this video and if you need anything else to watch, let the YouTube algorithm introduce you to some videos that are put on your screen about now. Happy viewing!